What's going on? My name is Michael Barive, and today we're going to talk about how to train people effectively. Okay? I was able to build a team of 150 plus sales guys in less than two and a half years. We did that with zero money invested, and now we have a solar company that's growing like crazy coast to coast, like butter on toast. So, as Mr. Barive likes to say, which is me, I know I'm talking third person as a joke, but anyway, how do you train people effectively? I've been training people for over a decade. I've trained young guys, old guys, fat guys, skinny guys, dumb guys, smart guys, it doesn't matter. How was I able to take young guys, stupid guys, all kinds of guys, and make them into beasts in sales and make them into beasts of building teams and stuff like that? You might say, Michael, you're, you're an awesome leader. Maybe you're awesome at speaking, blah, 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 blah. I don't think so. Like, I don't think that's because that's not why I was able to train people effectively. I'm going to give you guys four things you need to implement in your training processes to train other people better because what you need to understand is to train other people to effectively duplicate yourself, what you need to do, okay, is have these four components. If you have these four components, you have a ma you can master training, you can duplicate yourself to 100,000, 2,000 plus people. But if you don't master these four components, I promise you, you will not become successful in training and you're gonna have a revolving door business because everyone will leave and you will not have training. And if there's no training, guess what happens? You have a dead company, okay? Now, the foundation to all of this, right, is having this all systematized, okay? This is not just giving you these four things and then you just apply them, right? You need to have a system around that because a training process that has a system is much more scalable than a training process that's just, you know, thrown out into the woods, right? So you want to have these four things. Number one, you need to have content, okay? Whether it's audio, video, paper, Google Drive, I don't give a crap. You need to have content. So whatever training material you have, if it's in your head, some of you guys are so amazing inside of your head, you're the best trainer, you can speak good. No, no, no. Document it. Document the content, right? Put audios, videos, whatever may be interactive, immersive. It doesn't matter. It has to be content that's put out. It could be in a course, on a drive. It doesn't matter, but it has to be systematized, of course, right? But you have to put content. And a lot of people, they want to train through their head. A lot of people want to train just by people remembering shit. Listen, you don't remember crap when you go to a, 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 a pitch fest. You don't remember anything when you go to an event. You may remember 5%, 10%, but after a week or two, boom, you forgot everything, right? What you do remember is how you felt. So how do you remember what you feel, but not remember what you, what you actually went through in content, right? So what you need to do is you don't need to remind them of emotions. When it comes to training, it's not about emotions, it's about content, juice, information, documented in a very strategic manner, okay? That's number one. Number two, there needs to be repetition, right? Repetition is the mother of all teaching, right? But you gotta be careful, repetition the right way. So perfect practice makes perfect, not practice makes perfect, right? You have to have perfect practice. And if you practice imperfectly, you'll get imperfect results, right? So you need to practice perfectly. And repetition is proper only when you do it the right way, repeating it the perfect way. So the guys know exactly, your girls know exactly when these things get done. You need to remind people four, five, six, seven times of the constant information so it's not like different every time you're training somebody. It's gotta be the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Repetition, hourly, daily, monthly, weekly, yearly, whatever it may be. That's why training is not a one day thing. I hear guys all the time, oh, I have an office where three days a week we show up, one day a week. I'm like, guys, listen, uh, I'm sorry, but I train my guys every single day. Every day. Repetition, 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 repetition. Now, that's not, now, it's not the same thing every single day, right? But there's constant training, constant repetition with the information that they get, right? Because usually people start believing what you say about the sixth or seventh time they hear it. That's a statistic I saw somewhere. Don't hold me to it, but that's what I heard, okay? But even if that was true, imagine it was seven. Imagine it was four times. How many times are you repeating the training? Are you just doing one training and that's it? You're done? I see companies, they train their people with one training, boom, they're done. Listen, my whole company gets training every single day. My videographer gets training. I guarantee you he goes through training. Why? He's studying videos, how to do this, how to do that. Everybody's doing training around me. If they're not doing training, I don't want to be around them. And they need repetition, always, constantly, right? To be reminded of what they need to be doing, right? Number three, it's practicing. Especially if you're in sales. Oh my God, if you're in sales, if you're talking to customers, there needs to be some pitch practice. Practice what you're doing. Can you imagine a, would you ever go in an airplane if the pilot never had practice? He went through training and boom, he's a pilot. Would you be safe in that airplane? Like, would you be okay with that? Probably not, right? Why not? Would you want to go to a doctor to never practice surgery? There's dummy surgeries all the time. They're watching for four years they're in residency, right? They're not even touching anybody sometimes. You need practice, guys. Your guys need practice. Your gals need practice. Practice is what's needed and not once a month, okay? Every single day. Rebuttals, practicing every single day. It's a must. That's not a question, they want to, they don't feel good, they're tired, they have to practice. It's important and it's 100% needed. 
And the last but not least, this is what a lot of people miss. Oh boy, woo, it's a juicy one. Accountability. You need to have an accountability structure, whether it's a partner, whether it's a person, whether it's a, a report, whatever it may be. Like my team that works with us, our operations team, our, our, our workers, they give me an end of day report. Why do I give me an end of day report? I don't give a shit if they're tired. I want that end of day report. Why? Because that end of day report shows them what they did and their whole team can see what they're doing. It holds the team accountable because they're working as a team, right? Can you imagine a team working together and they don't know what's going on? A team works together. Hold people accountable because the team loses together and the team wins together, right? So having an accountability system is extremely important. You can have apps, you can have documents, whatever it is that holds them accountable. Do a daily meeting with them, talk about their previous day, breaking down their days, whatever it may be that helps your business grow. But you have to have accountability. So remember, you need to have content, you need to have repetition, you need to have practice, right? So they can make mistakes and get better and better. And you need to have the accountability, whether it's a partner or a system, whatever it may be. Backed by a whole system and a documented process and it's all created into a streamlined you know, way, now you can actually expand and scale your business. But until you have those four things, believe me, you have a tough time building and growing your business. My name is Michael Barai. Hopefully you, you have, you've been, you know, value has been added towards you in your life. Hopefully you got some value from this video and the other videos that we always produce for you guys on a daily and weekly basis. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, do me a solid, do me a favor. Let's share this video and subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel to 100,000 subscribers. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end. And we'll see you guys in the next video.